Hi everybody, this lesson will give an overview about UQL. UQL is short for Autobiograph Query Language. It is a graph native language designed for querying and managing Autobiograph database. UQL is fully docked and adapted to Autobiograph computing engine to yield unprecedented query performance. UQL supports dummy schema and complies with GQL in terms of the overall functionality and compatibility. Inspired by the functional classifications of SQL, here is a general picture of UQL. In the first place, UQL is a data query language, which in the context of graph data is to query nodes, edges, paths, and subgraphs, as well as running graph algorithms. It is also a data manipulation language to insert, update, and delete nodes and edges in a graph. Regarding the aspect of data definition, UQL defines the graph model, namely the schema and property structure of a graph, truncate metadata of graph, and manage index and full text of graph data for query acceleration purpose. Last, as a data control language, UQL controls database permission by managing policies and granting revoking user privileges. Users of Autobiograph system can compose and run UQL in Autobiograph CLI, which is a lightweight and cross-platform command line tool, or in Autobiograph web-based CLI, a pluggable web-based Autobiograph CLI with grammar suggestions, which is currently integrated in Autobiograph Manager. Users can also send UQLs to the Audible server while developing their project through Audible drivers, a set of SDKs for Java, Node.js, Python, and Golang, as well as RESTful API, etc. UQL overtakes SQL in many aspects. Regarding data structure, traditional SQL defines only table records which are unable to easily express high-dimensional data and its combination or their aggregation result. While UQL clearly defines various high-dimensional data structures, such as node, edge, path, property, array, and table, and can return and use this high-dimensional result. When querying associated data, SQL employs table join query, which is very complicated in composing and very inefficient in execution. The computational complexity increases with the data volume in the table in the form of Cartesian product. While UQL uses paths and subgraphs to depict multidimensional relations of data, which are composed as chain statements or templates with a linear or sublinear computational complexity. SQL has a high learning cost as it is contrary to the logic of human brain. A join table query usually involves nested statements, which are always difficult to understand or maintain. While UQL brings minimal cognitive loads, it introduces a human-like grammar. One can just write what he thinks. It's very easy to read, write, and learn. Let's check an example to see what a UQL statement looks like. Try to understand this UQL example. From an entity with ID bank card 001, transfer to another bank card, which is owned by a customer. Mark this customer as payee. Then take all the distinct payees, order them by their level in descending fashion, and return these payees. This first sentence, highlighted in green color, is the chain statement. It presents in the form of a command followed by a series of parameters. It realizes operations from query to manipulation, definition, and control. A UQL statement may contain multiple chain statements. The rest of the sentences started with keywords in yellow color or clauses. They process and assemble the operations results from previous sentences. Note the preposition as in red color. The function of it is to define alias for values generated by the chain statement and the clauses. So this value, also called data columns, 
can be used in the remaining parts of the UQL. There are many other UQL examples that may look quite different than the one illustrated here. And the UQL statement does not necessarily lead to have all these components. But a general and typical process logic of a UQL statement can be summarized as chain statement initiate queries and generate intermediate values as data columns. These data columns are given alias and used by clauses for further calculations or assemblies or by other chain statements for deeper queries. The final result of this UQL is ultimately returned to the client end. UQL prefix is an extension part of UQL that is attached to the head of UQL. Some of them triggers specific operational statistics to measure the overall performance of the UQL execution, like the three UQL prefixes explain, profile, and debug. Look at this UQL example. It consists of a chain statement, which is a path template, and an aggregation clause, and a return clause. Explain will not execute this UQL, but only analyze the execution logic of the UQL. Profile will explain the logic of UQL as well as counting the time cost of each step in the logic by executing the UQL. Debug also executes the UQL, but measures the call times and time cost of each operational phase of the UQL. Another UQL prefix is execute task, which will execute the UQL by sending it to an analytics node in a server cluster. There's also query prefix, which is attached to the head of a chain statement. We will study that later in the query section.